this is Julian from AWS and I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of my podcast. You know, what took me so long? You know, I guess 2020 is, uh, is just around the corner. So this is my new year resolution. Anyway, uh, in this podcast, we'll talk about the new announcements from AWS on AI and machine learning. I'll do some quick demos. And I guess in the next episodes, I'll have some guests who will explain what they build on AWS. And by the way, if you're building cool stuff on AWS with machine learning, please get in touch and uh, I'd love to have you on the podcast. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do the news. What do we have this week? So this week we have uh, we have Lex, we have Transcribe, we have Textract, and we have Personalize. Okay, so just... Uh, uh, just high-level services this week. Okay, let's start with Lex. Uh, Lex is our chatbot service, as you know, and this is actually a big deal. Uh, you can now save conversation logs for Lex, um, whether you're interacting with the chatbot in text mode or in uh, voice mode. Okay, so you can have text transcripts and you can have audio transcripts. And this is probably something that uh, people have been asking for since the service came out. So uh, yeah, I can hear a lot of people rejoicing in the background. <laughs> yes, it's here. So how do you set it up? It's super easy. You just go to the Lex console and in the settings for your chatbot, you're gonna see this new entry called conversation logs, okay? And this is where you tick the box that says text logs or audio logs or both. And you can pass a CloudWatch log group name for text logs as well as an S3 bucket name for audio logs. And of course, don't forget to set the IAM role that gives Lex permission to write stuff to CloudWatch logs and S3, okay? And that's all it takes. Um, another benefit of this is of course, you'll be able to see missed um, utterances, okay? Sentences that the users said and that didn't trigger anything in the bot. Uh, so of course, it's all log now, so you can run all kinds of analytics. Okay, again, you know, I hear you rejoicing and uh, enjoy this new feature. Okay, let's move on to text track. Uh, text track is our um, text uh, extraction service from images and documents. And um, it's PCI DSS certified now. So if you're building uh, retail and e-commerce applications, you know, text track um, is in the picture. And more importantly, I think, um, we released a whole bunch of quality improvements for text tracts. So it's even better now at extracting data from tables and forms, right? And these can be quite complicated. So I won't spend too much time here because I actually recorded um, a video demo. I'll put the link to the YouTube video in the description, trying text track with different uh, types of documents. And it did do pretty well, I have to say. So um, if you've never tried text track, this could, could be a good, uh, a good time to do it. Okay, let's move on to Personalize, one of my favorite services. So Personalize lets you build uh, recommendation and personalization models from uh, CSV datasets. And actually now in those datasets, you can pass contextual information. Contextual information means um, uh, device information, time of day information, etc. And these are important to provide the best possible recommendations. You're probably not looking at the same content on your uh, mobile phone and on the web, right? So you want that data to be factored in. So what it really means is, zooming in a bit here, in the, in the, um, the data set that you pass to personalize, you now can use new uh, keywords like location or device to pass that extra information. And some of the algos here uh, available in uh, in uh, personalized will actually use that data. Okay, so HRNN uh, will definitely use it. Um, and so this allows you to improve the quality of recommendations and and uh, just you know build better models. So this is pretty cool and this is really easy to try. Just use those new keywords. Amazon Transcribe was also updated this week um, with two new features. The first one is job queuing which lets you now submit up to 10,000 jobs uh, concurrently. Uh, and you could think, wow, that's a crazy high number. Who would need that? Well, 
call centers are uh, heavy users of uh, of transcribe and of course they could have thousands and thousands of calls that they want to uh, transcribe per day and uh, the the prior limit was 100 so you could only submit 100 jobs and then you would have to wait uh, for those jobs to complete before you could submit others okay and that's a low number for a call center so now we've bumped this number to 10,000 and uh, we have a, a FIFO queue to process them okay so pretty uh, pretty useful if you want to transcribe at scale and the second feature that uh, Amazon transcribe received this week is vocabulary filtering and this is the one I'm going to demo <laughs> Vocabulary filtering is exactly what you'd expect. The purpose here is to remove unwanted words from the transcription outputs. So first, we list those words in a text file, okay, one word per line, and we upload that file to transcribe, okay? And here I built a file containing profanity because, of course, that's my use case here. And once you've done that, you can create a transcription job with that filter. Hey, but I guess we need a sample, right? So here's my sample. Um, this is a very unhappy customer, apparently. Hey, I'm calling because I bought this piece of shit product from your company. And man, it's complete crap. The motherfucker who sold this to me just told me a whole lot of bullshit. So I just want my money back. All right. Uh, I've heard this guy before. Okay, so... You don't want that stuff in your transcription output. I think, you know, even a, a very basic sentiment analysis algo would understand this guy is mad, uh, literally. And uh, we don't need all those uh, ugly words. So let's create a job and let's give it a name. Um, the language is English. I'm going to pass the location of that file in S3. Of course, I've, I've copied it before. Then I just click next and say, hey, please use my profanity filter. And I've got two options here, which are either to completely remove those words or replace them with uh, that triple star token. And I'll go for that. Okay, and then I click on create. Okay, so let's just wait for a minute for this job to be completed. And then hopefully we can see a clean and family friendly output. Okay, after a couple of minutes, the job is complete. And if I open it and look at the transcription, well, I can see that all those nasty words have been removed. Hey, I'm calling because I bought this piece of blip product from your company. And man, it's complete blip. The blip who sold this to me just told me a whole lot of blip and I want my money back. Okay, so, um, well, let's... <laughs> That's the funniest feature I've tested in a while, and I'm sure it's going to be a popular one on stage. So that was it for the demo of the week. Uh, now let's talk about a few extra resources that you may like. Okay, let me share a few additional resources that I uh, built this week. The first one is uh, a multi-part video on uh, SageMaker Ground Truth where I'm showing you an end-to-end -end demo of uh, annotating images. I'm actually I'm using uh, semantic segmentation because we have a new automatic tool for this. So it's a pretty cool demo. If you're interested in uh, labeling image data sets, you're going to like that. The second thing I want to talk about is my text tract demo. Uh, I mentioned earlier we improved the quality of text tracts for uh, tables and forms. and. Uh, Again, I recorded a video showing you how to do this. And the last uh, one I want to mention is, of course, uh, my uh, Deep Graph Library video showing you, or I should say introducing you to uh, graph convolutional networks. Okay, so this one is definitely more technical and, uh, and code level. But uh, if you're curious about graph networks, I guess this is a good place to start, right? And of course, you can run the code yourself. Well, this is it for this first episode uh, going down in history, maybe or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I hope this was fun. I would love to hear your feedback. Again, if you're building cool stuff on AWS, please, please, please get in touch and you can be my guest on the podcast. I'll see you later and keep rocking.